Welcome back everybody, today we will be discussing the Kobe 6 Grinch, also known as the Kobe 6 Green Apple. Specifically, we'll be discussing some release info, how to cop, and some resale predictions at the end of the video. I want to preface this by stating for those of you who don't know by now, I have intentionally refrained from discussing resale of all Kobe products for the entire year, but now, since 2021 is here, I think this would be the most appropriate and reasonable time to begin discussing the market value of these products again. Anyway, the Kobe 6 Grinch releases on December 24th for the very first time since 2010, a very nostalgic shoe. While they've actually already did an exclusive access drop just about a week ago, which I did make a tweet for, so if you haven't already, be sure to follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, and personals for you, as well as enabling post notifications just so you're always 100% in the loop 24-7 whenever restock, shock drops, or anything of that nature does happen abruptly. Retail will be $180 on these. And now, regarding stock, the stock on these pairs is absolutely immense. Nike is certainly capitalizing on the insane demand for these. I'd even argue that these are one one of the most demanded Kobe colorways of all time. Stock on these is over 600,000 pairs. For scale, the Jordan 11 Jubilee had over 700,000 pairs, while the Yeezy 350 Bread had 575,000 pairs, and the Jordan 1 Mocha had 280,000 pairs. Hopefully this gives you a sufficient picture of how much stock there really is for these. For Kobe specifically, this is a very, very big number, which we should all be very grateful for. If you guys want this pair, you'll definitely have a better chance of getting this pair compared to the prior Kobe's, which have been very, very difficult to cop of course but it still won't be a walk in the park due to that very very high demand which we'll discuss more in depth later regarding resale we will cover that towards the end of the video as always with the release info out of the way though let's jump into how to cop this kobe 6 grinch specifically for this how to cop we'll be going in chronological order along with exactly how to efficiently manage your time and set up for this drop with maximum efficiency since a lot will be going on at once and you'll only be able to focus at so many things at the same time prior to discussing the first come first serve online drops though regarding any raffles you should expect me to tweet out a raffle list on this drop just like usual so make sure to follow my twitter keep that i'm 10 and personals for you and of course for more urgent info like restocks or shock shops or even the exclusive access like we saw for these and also please ensure that you don't forget to sign up for the flex app reservations this is one of the best ways to end up getting pairs if you do have a location near you now unlike when it comes to many jordans not all the usual locations that you normally see will be getting these despite the high stock so definitely don't take it for granted if you do have have a location near you and you could check just by opening up your app and searching for your zip code. Also, aside from the initial reservations, be ready for there to be potential reservations for leftover pairs as well. They recently started doing this mainly due to COVID. They didn't want people lining up, of course. I'm sure not every single location may not be up to date yet when it comes to this. So to be safe, I would still suggest calling your local Foot Locker just to be sure in case they won't be using this procedure when they do do leftovers as some of them may be using the old procedure, which is essentially just having people line up in the morning and giving them tickets for the leftovers. But anyway, now moving on to the online first come first serve sites kicking it off with 8 a.m eastern time undefeated may potentially drop at this time if they do announce on their instagram it will be confirmed but normally they don't so i'd suggest being ready regardless sometimes when it comes to very hyped items they will instead drop at 12 12 15 30 45 or even 1 p.m eastern time any of those potential times within those 15 minute intervals so if they don't drop at 8 a.m eastern time i'd suggest looking out within those 15 minute intervals after 12 p.m eastern time as well before this time Time or any of those times make sure you are signed into your undefeated accounts as it is required to check out on undefeated be ready to solve a checkpoint capture as well moving on to 9 a.m eastern time we may potentially see two shopify sites dropping although they have not announced yet they may potentially announce a day before the drop and if they do announce it then it will be at one of these likely times 9 a.m or 10 a.m eastern time however if they do drop after 9 a.m eastern time if they don't do that i would instead suggest focusing your time elsewhere at 10 a.m eastern time because you don't really have a good shot when it comes to these two, and I'll discuss which sites you'll want to focus on at 10 a.m. Eastern Time instead of these as we get to that. But anyway, if these do happen to drop at 9 a.m., might as well try for them. Same as undefeated, expect a checkpoint capture, but no account is required here. Make sure you do set up Chrome Autofill at the very least. Now moving on to 10 a.m. Eastern Time, this is where the actual fun begins. Since there's a lot to focus on, I'm going to guide you and suggest to how to efficiently manage your time when it comes to all of these sites. First, I would suggest going with just one or two Shopify sites to focus on at exactly 10 a.m. Eastern Time, since those will sell out the quickest, of course. If I had to choose two for you guys, I would suggest choosing Shoe Palace and Shop Nice Kicks as they will have the highest stock. 
Just a quick tip when it comes to shoe pallets and shop nice kicks, since they do always load variants early, you can make early add to cart links before the drop to give you a slight manual advantage. To do this, just right click on the page, click view page source, then use Control F on Windows or Command F on Mac to search for the keywords var meta. Then just pick your size that you want to try for, for example I chose a size 10, take that size and add it into this URL format that you see on the screen, so essentially just the site domain slash cart slash the variant that you picked colon one. I hope this does help you guys and of course it's not just for this grin shop whenever you do see something on shoe palace shop nice kicks or any site that loads variants in a product page beforehand you can use this to give you that slight advantage because obviously you are going to be competed with bots so you want every possible advantage. Now right after that drop is over or even while you're waiting in Shopify queue at the same time I want you guys to enter in as many sneakers accounts into the drop as possible as usual until around 10.03 a.m. eastern time I'll explain why that is soon. This is going to to be your number one chance for topping by far for these. For Europe, the sneakers drop time will be 9 a.m. CET. For US, it is 10 a.m. Eastern time, of course. Not only is the most stock allocated to Nike sneakers by a significant amount, but they have also been making it more difficult for botters recently. Now, what's the most efficient way to cop off of Nike sneakers manually? Well, this drop is going to be a Leo drop. Leo drops essentially look very similar to a first come first serve, but they're actually just a two to three minute draw in disguise. Leo stands for let everyone order, but it's not quite that simple either. I actually made a full in-depth video regarding Nike sneakers and how to exploit these drops give you the best possible advantage So feel free to check that out if you haven't I'm not gonna go over it again because I obviously don't want to be too repetitive in my videos But if you guys do need to make more accounts just a reminder that Nike does require SMS verification Unfortunately, and you can't use the same phone number twice So you will have to ask a friend of yours to use their phone number and ask them for the verification code However, if you rather not bother your friends or you just want a significant amount of pre-verified Nike sneakers accounts in general feel free to check out my site TARS. The link for that is in the description below for pre-verified Nike sneakers accounts. Now following sneakers, it'll be around 10.04 to 10.05 a.m. Eastern Time. At this point, you'll want to shift your focus onto foot sites. For this specific drop, it'll just be Foot Locker only. Make sure to set up the tabs for all sites that I'm discussing, by the way, beforehand, just so you don't have to worry about setting them up last minute. And you will see me tweet out a site list on my Twitters. So again, be sure you're following there. This way, they're all ready to go and you don't have to stress over them. Key when it comes to foot sites is persistency, not exactly speed. I've seen people cop manually on foot sites as late as 45 minutes into the drop, so you really just can't give up here. You have to keep on clicking the add to cart links over and over again until it finally carts. They're very terrible sites and it's a pain to deal with these, but that's also why I'm mentioning not to focus on this site at exactly 10 a.m. Eastern time because speed does not really matter when it comes to here. Now, at the same time as trying to cart on foot sites as that's going on, you should also be waiting in queue on your tabs for Dick sporting goods as they should be dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern time as well. It's pretty self-explanatory here. Just wait in queue and check out once you do pass queue. And you can try to use the multiple people jig here as well. But anyway, that will be it for the how to cop portion of this video. Now with that how to cop out of the way, let's move on to the resale predictions. Regarding the resale predictions, despite stock being very high for these, especially for a Kobe product, keep in mind that this is one of the most demanded colorways of Kobe's of all time. As you guys know by now, demand outweighs supply differences in terms of how much of a factor they play in the market. What's really impressive though about this pair is that pre-sale is still holding up very well despite loads of pairs already being in circulation from that exclusive access that took place last week. It's not just your normal early pairs that are in circulation, there's actually a ton of pairs already in circulation due to that exclusive access. So although I still do expect prices to drop more of course, especially when shipments come in from the main drop, I'm still confident that these will hold enough to leave us with more than sufficient room for these to be profitable with a good margin as well. So I'll certainly be going full throttle on these when it comes to all sizes. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a hold or sell video also, which I often do. More importantly though, let me know if you'll be keeping a personal pair of these. I definitely know I will. Anyway, good luck on this drop. I do have faith that a lot of you guys who do put in your best effort should definitely be able to get a pair due to the very high stock. Feel free to leave a like if you did enjoy or perhaps learn a thing or two. Also subscribe and enable post notifications just so you're always 100% updated on every hyped sneaker. And remember, if you guys do need proxies or Nike sneakers accounts, be sure to check the links in the description for TARS and KIP proxies. And of course, follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10 and personals for you just so you always stay in the loop 24-7 and stay 100% updated on everything no matter what it is. With that though, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day and good luck on this drop, of course.